off the floor, it's no laugh, it's there, right there. Yeah. Right, we are hoping that this, when we strip these off, maybe one's leaked or this maybe, I don't know, but <laughs> that's what we hope and so Bex just gone to get the, uh, the tool now to take the trim off. We've unscrewed as far as we can and there's nothing, nothing at all, it's all dry, it's just down right at the bottom area. So hopefully it's just uh, one of these uh, plastic grommets. Hopefully. soon realised this wasn't the source of our leak and it was time to strip out the back of the kitchen. Oh, I can't. Here. Oh, Dan. That's under that bit there. How much of that's yeah. wet at the back then? Yeah, yeah. Anybody's have like condensation now part of it or like how was yeah. this dry? And that bit sodden down there. I'm wondering is that the handle of the hole? Remember I said there was a hole in the handle outside? Vaguely. It's just by this, this isn't wet because it won't hold moisture anyway. It's just you could feel the water on it. I mean that's, that's bone dry, it's just a see it? Mm. Just a bit some Right, we think we found the problem. It's this here. I think the sticky has come off this. Obviously it's going down the back there, down into the hole. Ooh, ow! Luckily enough, really, but uh, everything has just been screwed. But obviously, we have to strip the back off the kitchen to get the panel behind the door. So everything's stripped out. It's definitely because you can see daylight through there. Right, so Bex uh, just put in the. Horse pipe over the handle. And as you can see, water drips down. What I've done, I've put some silicone tape or digital tape over this area here and down in there. Also the same on that side. It has stopped probably 90% of the uh, the water coming in. But we've just ordered a new handle because uh, we think maybe this has seen better days. This stuff, I can't say enough about it, absolutely fantastic. It had moisture on it, just bits of moisture, you can still, it's still a little bit wet there now. But honestly, probably if that was a normal insulation, that would have been saturated. So I'm just going to let that top bit dry out. And then we can put it all back in. But what I'm thinking of doing, I don't think you're ever going to stop the uh, the problem. The problem, really. Because, as you can see, there's a hole right in there so what I'm thinking of doing is trying to uh, 
designed something now that would cover the cover the handle completely. Been uh, racking my brains. Um, well, there's uh, many brains at a rack. So what I come up with is this three-inch piece of makeup, and somehow I'm going to try and fit, cut it, and fit it over the handle of the door. There's just no stopping my husband. Even when it's dark, he still can't stop working on the van. Let's go and see what he's up to. Oh, there he is. Got his head torch on. It's like working in Alaska. <laughs> Done it? No, need to cut the game. Oh. Get in there. Oh yeah. Right guys, here we are. It was really easy to find the, the curve of the inset of the panel where the handle is. Yeah, right. Five ten. <laughs> So what I've done, I don't know if you can see, but I've, um, I've undercut There's a slight angle there because that's going to sit on the van at a slight angle so it'll help the water run off. Unfortunately, the tripod went into limp mode. So sadly to say, during filming today, one tripod was seriously hurt. And killed. Right guys, all fits really really neat, especially uh, in here. What I didn't realise earlier on when I measured the uh, the width of the handle, it was in the dark. Well that's my excuse anyway. That the uh, this recess here was slightly offset and it was uh, down in between these uh, two pencil marks here. So what I'm going to do now is just transfer it and obviously move this recess down cut it out should be looking good right guys it's like a sleepy rain don't know if I can show you and it's absolutely freezing we're all in the summer I give it is on a Wednesday next year See a little, like a little speck. See there. There's a, a drip out of there. That's much better than what it was. Quite a valuable lesson learnt as well. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this in half and just uh, put it. So it just comes past past the uh, the kitchen because I don't want to be taking the kitchen back out again if we ever have a problem. I didn't do a bad.
bad kit. I used uh, an old second fix, second fix saw. And that cuts pretty good. And it's stuck fast, so uh, I think it's good to go. It's time to play reverse Jenga with the slot. Get it back on there, and I guarantee you, there's probably going to be a tight spot somewhere. <laughs> Screw the post back up, connect the USB back up, screw with the gas, job done. Secured, post is uh, all screwed up, cables, all cable tied back on, USB connected up, gas. I love this stuff, it's a uh, soft twist tie, belt and cable ties. You can uh, twist it on if you have a problem, and you can just take it back off without cutting it. And the saves on the plastic. Back of the kitchen is back on. The electrics are secured, the gas is secured, the USB is back in. I've left the door until the uh, the new handle arrives. Um, I'm definitely, definitely going to put this on when the new handle comes, whether it looks good or not, um, because the design of that handle <laughs> shocking. Uh, right. I'll, uh, we'll um, leave this one there. <laughs> who, said, who said building a van was easy? <laughs> I will see you on the next one. <laughs> Peace. Bloody vans. <laughs>